Hi there, welcome to this video when I'm going to be talking about back garden bird photography. Now if you're a regular to the channel you might have seen my setup here in my back garden. Um, I've got lots of perches set up that I can use for photographing birds but it's been in this configuration now for a long time, perhaps as much as a year and so it's about time that I refreshed all of the perches just so I change up the way that the photographs look and it gives me a bit of incentive to get back out and take some photographs because I've kind of neglected it a little bit over the last six months. So I'll give you a quick tour if you're new to the channel and you can follow me as I first of all rejig all of my um, perches and I'm going to be making it up as I go along. I don't know how it's going to turn out and then I'm also going to spend some time in the hide and try out the new setup. So come along and join me because I know that I'm really going to enjoy my photography. Just over here is my garden shed. Now I've converted this into a bird hide. I'll show you inside that uh, when I'm doing the photography. But if you look on the outside, there are openings that allow me to push these inserts out and then the camera rests on this shelf just here so I can take photographs. Um, next to them, there's some Perspex windows that I can see out of. And then it's looking at uh, the perches that are over here. Now the main area is going to be the feed. Um, there's some feeding tubes there and there's a table there uh, and this is what attracts the birds in the first place. But the goal is to try and have some perches that are fairly close to the feeders so that when the birds come into land they have got then a short hop over to the feeders but you've got a guaranteed spot where they're going to be so you can pre-focus or you know what to expect or you can start to even prepare for some flight shots as well. So what I'm going to do is because this has got a little bit tired I'm going to take all of this down and we're going to start again from scratch. Now the thought of dismantling all of this might seem onerous but the way that I've set it up it's going to be fairly easy and quick to do because it's all held together with strips of velcro. So just a quick tear off of the velcro strip and one of the perches is ready to move out of the way. And that's why I did it in the first place so it allows me to very quickly change out perches and at certain times of the year I might have um, branches that have got blossom on them so I can put some of those onto the setup and I can just change them very quickly and very easily. So I'm down to my final two perches. Um, this one here will have to stay um, because this is an old dead tree that's rooted into the ground but it does make for a very stable structure to attach things to. This one here I should be sad to see go because it is one of my favourite perches. It's uh, the perch that I push suet pellets into to attract the woodpecker um, but I've got so many shots of the woodpecker on this particular perch that it is about time for a change and I have got a new um, old tree that blew down um, in the storms over the winter and I'm going to put that up in a slightly different location. While I've been taking all of these perches down I've been careful not to damage them because I am going to save them for possible use in the future because what I've got just behind here if you come with me uh, behind this hedge there is a stock of all my branches just here that I've either used before, I've found or they've been cut off fallen down trees and that kind of thing and so because of that if you look at some of them because they've been sat behind here they've got this lovely interesting moss on them so that'll make for really good perches so I'm really keen to use this piece somewhere in the new display because of the moss that's grown on it with being here in the shade. 
So that was a bit of a surprise. It turns out that the tree that I rely on to be rooted into the ground has actually been there so long that the base is rotten. And as soon as I lay this uh, bigger um, tree against it, um, it's snapped off and it's now down here on the floor. So I'm gonna save it and I can probably use that piece of wood again somewhere else in the future but I've now lost my anchor point. So this piece here that I'm going to replace it with goes up into this tree. I'm just going to find somewhere up there to fix it to just to make it a little bit secure. So I'm going to use some Velcro for that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill holes into the side of this upright so I can push suet pellets in to attract the woodpecker. Now this technique is not approved by everybody. Um, some people don't like it because what happens is the woodpecker can come to take the food and get their bill covered in the suet. Now the suet that I use tends to be fairly dry so they don't get a lot of it on their beak um, but if you catch them just at the right moment after they've cleaned the beak or when they first land you can get a fairly clean shot. Now what I am going to keep in mind is what the camera can see because if I drill the holes too far at the front then the holes will be visible so I want to come just past halfway so it's out of sight of the camera but I still get the woodpecker on the side of the branch. To fix this branch in place, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna dig a small hole to drop it into so it can't move. And then I'm going to attach this bit of the branch to the upright of the uh, seed feeder. Um, hopefully that should make it fairly secure when I've put uh, soil back in the hole and um, made it nice and secure. And then we've got some great perches here. Lots of interesting things with all this moss right next to the feeders. That's it, I think I'm pretty happy with the new setup. I haven't filmed every single bit of it uh, because I'm only at hanging branches, but I did find this overhanging branch that I've secured up into this tree behind me that gives some nice interesting shapes to add to this one. I've stuck another branch in the ground just over there and I found this old tree stump with a hole in it that will be quite nice as a perch for some of the ground feeding birds just down here. Now in a few seconds we're going to leap forward a couple of days um, to the photography stage of this video um, but what I'm going to have to do now I've finished the construction is I'm going to have to leave it for a little while just for the birds to get used to all of the new perches. The feeders are in virtually the same place so it doesn't disturb the birds too much and the perches to the birds will probably be fairly similar but from a photographic point of view they'll look completely different. So join me in a few seconds for the photography stage in a few days for me. Thanks for staying with me. It's now a couple of days after I um, changed the perches in the first part of this video. Um, yesterday I spent some time in the hide taking some photos um, because the birds seem to get used to the new perches very quickly. And so today I'm going to spend a little bit more time to see if I can get any better shots. And I'll tell you about a few of the tweaks that I've made to the perches that I put up um, the other day. If you've not seen any of my videos before, you might not have seen inside my hide. Now it's nothing particularly special, it's just an old garden shed, but over here I've got all of my feed. They're fairly empty at the moment, but I've got new um, feed there ready to put into those bins once they're empty. I don't want to mix the old with the new. Also, as anybody that's got a space will know, you tend to fill it with garden furniture. That's my pop-up hide. Then just over here, this is where um, I've got perspex to see out and here is where the camera pokes through to see the perches and it rests on this little table just here and sits on a bean bag to make it a little bit more stable and that's pretty much it for my hide. One thing I did learn yesterday taking photos is that the perches are quite busy so it's difficult to get a really clean shot. So this morning I broke a couple of branches off that were intruding into um, 
shots yesterday and I got the cutters out and I cut a few other branches off just to make um, the perches a little bit less uh, busy with too much going on and it means that there's less for the birds to hide behind. Now one of the highlights from yesterday was when a thrush landed on one of the branches that I'd put up. Um, if I'd have taken the same shot today it would have been a lot cleaner because one of the branches that I've cut off um, was just intruding into the right hand side of the shot. Now you might say well it makes it look a little bit more natural but I think it would have looked slightly better if those branches weren't there. One of the things that I really want to try and see today is the greatest spotted woodpecker because yesterday I didn't see it and as soon as I went inside uh, I was making a cup of tea and I looked out of the kitchen window and saw it straight away and it spent about five minutes trying all the perches out. Um, so that's what I'm keeping my fingers crossed for today to get it on the new tree that I've put the holes in with the suet in. So that's what my goal is today. I've really enjoyed making this video. It's been long overdue to redo my perches and I've not really done a uh, bird hide video for a long while. Um, but to top it all off, um, I did get the sighting of the greatest spotted woodpecker as well that I'd been hoping for this morning. So what I'll do now is I'll leave you with some of my favorite shots from the last two days. That's been a really useful way of spending a few days. I've now got a new setup that I can get back out into the hide with and uh, just take some different photos. Now, if you've got any questions about either feed, perches or camera settings, then do let me know down below and I'll try and answer them. And also, if you would like to see more videos from in my bird hide, let me know about that as well. I'm just a bit apprehensive about making too many videos from in there so they don't get samey. And I wanna try new things just to keep myself challenged. But if you would like to see more, let me know and I'll do some more. Well, as always, if you have enjoyed this video, do let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram or Vero account. That's at Dirtdown Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my photographs. Now, if you like what I do on the channel and want to help support me to make future content like this, you can also visit my Teespring store. There I've got a lot of merchandise on offer, like the t-shirt that I'm wearing now. And a purchase really does help me out and it's really appreciated. So go and check that out. And also, don't forget the super thanks button as well. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel you can do that simply by clicking like subscribe and the bell notifications because it really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content watch out for next week's video that goes live on sunday in the meantime go and check out this video just up here but all that's left now is to say stay safe and i'll see you soon <laughs>